Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. My name is uh, Sheikh Muhammad Azara. I am the BSN program coordinator and also the course coordinator of the anatomy and physiology at the College of Nursing, PIMS Islamabad. In the anatomy and physiology skeleton system lecture of series, uh, today is the lecture number four. In the, the today lecture number four, we will go to learn about the, the common name of this bone is called the wing bone of the human body which is present on the back side of our shoulder and which is make the shoulder joint which is take the parts uh, in the shoulder joint the actual name of this uh, bone is called the scapula let's uh, go to learn more detail uh, more in detail of the anatomical features of the scapula bone here i have draw the uh, the, the pictures or the draw the diagram of the scapula bone if you see the uh, the escapular bone, the escapular bone is uh, in the triangular in shape. As it will look a little bit triangular in shape. So, due to the tri triangular shape, it is uh, it has uh, three borders. Okay, and it has uh, three angles. This one, and this is second one. And this one to the left one side, this is called the third one. So the scapula have the uh, three border, one, second, and the third one. And it has the uh, three angles, the, the first, second, and the third. So the border which is uh, towards the mid plane, towards the mid plane, okay, towards the mid plane or near to the vertical column, this, this border is called the medial border. This is called the medial border of the scapula. Now, the border which is away from the mid plane, which is towards the lateral side, it is called the lateral border. Now, the, the third one border, which is uh, on the top one or the upper side, towards the uh, nearest, uh, near towards the uh, head side. This border is called the superior border. This border. This border is called superior border. Now, we will go to uh, uh, learn about the angles of the scapula. The scapula have the three angles. The, the angle which is present on the lower side, on the lower side of the scapula, which is make a, a angle over here, and this angle is called the inferior angle. The inferior angle of the scapula. And the scapula, uh, and another angle, the second angle, which is on the top one, on the superior side, towards the head side. And this angle is called the superior angle. And the third angle, the third one angle, which is towards the lateral side, towards the lateral side, which is away from the uh, the mid plane, though this angle is called the lateral angle. Now, the scapula, which is I told you earlier, is a triangular in shape, so it has three borders and three angles. The angle which is towards the mid plane is called the medial angle, and the 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 this left, the, the, the uh, no, uh, medial uh, border, the border which is towards the mid plane is called the medial border, and the the border which is away from the mid plane, which is towards the lateral side, this is called the lateral border, and the uh, the third border which is or the to or the top side or the towards the uh, near or the head side, this is called the superior border. And the we have the scapula have the three angles. The in the, the angle which is towards the lower side, which is away from the uh, head side, this is called the inferior angle. The angle which is on the top one or the uh, on the superior side, nearest towards the head side, this is called the superior angle. The another angle which is towards the, the third angle, which is uh, towards the outside or towards the lateral side, and this angle is called the lateral angle. Now, 
will come of the this this the, the, the diagram which is I sketched over here on the blackboard. This is the posterior view of the scapula. In the posterior view of the scapula, if you see uh, the uh, spinous process over here. This spinous process originate from the medial border and cross the the cross of the body of the scapula and goes on the lateral side make a hockey like structure the hockey like a uh, curve like structure is a process over here this is called the, the whole the structure or the process this is called the spinous process the spinous process or uh, called the spine of the scapula Spine of scapula. If you see spine of the scapula. Now the this spinous process on the posterior side. It's divide the posterior portion of the scapula into two parts. The upper part, the upper part which is above the spine of the scapula, spine of the scapula above the spinous scapula, it is called the supra spinous. Supra spinous fossa because the supra spinatus muscle attached over here. Now the other portion, the the below portion, the portion the which is below the spine, which is a two third of the posterior portion of the scapula. This is called the infra spinous fossa. Supra spinous fossa because the supra spinatus muscle is attached over here. In the some books, some books it is written is the uh, the surface. In the some books are written is the uh, fossa, uh, well, the supra spinatus uh, supra spinous fossa and infra spinous fossa. The major portion is the seventy five percent portion of the back side of the scapular bone. Now we will go. Uh, uh, learn about the same diagonal structures, the same features. We will go to uh, learn more in detail uh, on the original bone of the uh, of the scapula, the original bone of the scapula. Now, the first question which is arise uh, always uh, ask in a, in, a, in, a, in a viva in an anatomy viva. If you take the any bone, just to tell the name of the bone. Now, uh, uh, tell me uh, it is belong to the right side or left side. So, how you can identify the, this bone? The, this is the scapula bone. Okay. Now, how you can identify this is belong to the right side or it is belong to the left side? Now, this is the some 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 feature for that. Uh, how you can identify this is a right side scapula or the left side of a scapula? If you see on the posterior, this is the posterior portion, and this is the interior portion or the interior surface of the scapula. This is the posterior surface of the scapula. Because I told you earlier on the in the diagram structure on the posterior portion of the scapula is a spine is present here. So the spinous process, the process of the scapula uh, keep always on the back side, on the posterior side. Okay, and then the glenoid cavity and the glenoid cavity keep the glenoid cavity on the lateral side, on the outside. So you can identify it is a uh, this scapular bone belong to the right side or the left side. So this is the right side of the scapula. The spine I kept the spinous process, the spine of the scapula on the back side, and kept the glenoid cavity on the lateral side. So it is belong to the lateral scapular bone or the right side of the uh, uh, right side of the right right uh, side of the scapular bone. Now, I told you earlier, this is the uh, scapula. It has the uh, three borders, uh, three borders, okay, the, and three angles, one, one, two, three. Okay, now uh, start from the posterior side, um, which is I draw, on, uh, I'm, uh, taught you on the diagram. This is the, an angle, uh, this is an, an, an border, which is uh, towards the mid plane, which is towards the mid plane this this border is called the medial border this border is called the medial border 
and this border which is towards the lateral side this border is called the lateral border and the another border which is on the top side on towards the head side this is this border is called the this border this border is called the superior border now uh, as i told you there's a uh, scapula have the three borders and three angle as well the top one the angle which is towards the head side the top one this angle is called the superior angle this angle is called the superior angle and the angle which is towards the lower side which is away from the superior side this is towards the lower side this is called the inferior angle and the another angle the third word angle which is towards the lateral side towards the lateral side is away from the mid plane this angle is called the lateral angle okay let us come up on the posterior side as i told you this is the uh, spinous process if you see this spine is originate from the medial border cross the body of the scapula and goes on the lateral side and make the curve like process over here and this whole structure is called the spine of the scapula the spine of the scapula have the three portion and the at the base level where the spine of scapula is a uh, originate is the make a trigroin surface you take this is a triangular angle this this is called the triangular angle of the spine of the scapula when it is reach at the middle portion the middle portion is uh, the of the spine is has a ridge border this is a superior ridge this is a inferior ridge of the spine the superior crest or superior ridge or superior crest or the inferior crest of the spine and this is crest is for the attachment of the trapezium bone and uh, attached by the trapezius bone or trapezius muscles trapezius muscle when it is go on the lateral side it's a make a, a process over here the curve like is process over here and this process is called the acromion process this process which is on the outer side it is called the acromion process and this acromion process before backing the process process is a make a, an angle over here and this angle is called the acromion angle and this is called the acromion angle if the on c on the middle side of the acromion process if you see on the middle side of a acromion process is the articular facet over here this is the articular surface the articular facet over here this articular surface or facet is for the external bone the external bone the external bone the lateral border or the lateral side or the acromion portion of the clavicle bone comes and attach over here it is they makes the both bones are joined with each other and makes the acromio clavicular joint acromic acromio clavicular joint now see in the just of the on the lateral side if you the on the lateral angle in the lateral angle is a cavity like structure over here is a cavity like structure is there and this cavity is called the glenoid cavity this is called the glenoid cavity in the glenoid cavity it has the two condyle the superior condyle and inferior condyle and in the in the is a fossa over here is a glenoid fossa in the glenoid fossa the glenoid cavity is the head of the humerus attach over here and to make the glenio glenoido humeral joints glenoido humeral joints are the common name for the glenoido humeral joints is called the shoulder joint and the shoulder joint is the types of the synovial joints is the free movable joints now in the between a uh, spine and the glenoid cavity as a notch is here and these called the glenoido spinous notch or you can say the common name is spinous notch is here the spinal notch is over here if you see at the superior border if you look over here and the superior border this is the superior border this one the superior border of the scapula is a notch was here in the superior border is a notch here is called the supra scapular notch and from the supra scapular notch is a nerve is passed through from it 
is a uh, an angle this is called the an angle this is called angle is called the the superior angle at the superior angle the levator muscles the uh, sub scapular uh, levator muscles are attached over here to elevate the scapula upward now if you see on the medial border the medial border and uh, just above the medial border have the two portion above of the supra uh, supra spinous uh, medial border and infra in spinous medial border and the just above the spine is is a board the medial border this portion is for the attachment on the rhomboid rhomboidus minor muscles this portion is for the attachment of the rhomboidus minor muscles this border the major portion is the the major portion of the medial border from here from the spine to the inferior angle this portion is for the attachment of the rhomboidus major rhomboidus major muscles attach over here okay from the lateral side it is the infra the superior now the the fossa which is just above the spine of the scapula is called the supra spinous fossa and this portion is called the infra spinous fossa supra spinous fossa and infra spinous fossa supra spinous fossa is supra spinatus muscles attach over here is originate from here and in the infra spinatus muscles in the infra spinous spinous fossa the spra infra spinatus muscles attach over here okay now see on the lateral border in the lateral border is again is a, a superior portion and the inferior portion in the superior portion of the lateral border is teres minor muscles is attach over here teres minor muscles originate from here and goes to attach with the tub tuberosity of the uh, humerus bone now this 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 the, the in this border the the lower border of the lateral border the lower portion of the lateral border is the teres muscle teres major muscles are att attach over here teres muscle major muscles originate from here and goes to attach with the uh, the humerus bone now in the in the uh, the, the glenoid cavity just above the glenoid cavity you see a finger like structure this one and uh, this one this one the finger the curl finger like structure and this curl like finger like structure is called the crocoid process this called the cro cro crocoid process and this crocoid process is for the attachment of the brachialis muscle a biceps uh, the tendon of the biceps muscle comes and the tendon of the brachialis muscle comes up uh, attach over here if you see with the glenoid cavity and the acromion process the cronoid process the cronoid process between the cronoid process and the glenoid cavity is a notch is over here and this notch is called the crocoid notch or you can call the crocoid glenoido notch crocoido cro, cro, crocoido uh, glenoid notch or you can call it, uh, call the uh, crocoid crocoid notch over here so this is all about the uh, posterior portion of the scapula bone and now we will come up on the uh, post uh, on the interior uh, surface of the scapula in the interior surface of the scapula no any spinous process uh, no any foramen is attached or no any foramen is here is a, a surface or uh, or surface here or the fossa is here so this is one fossa is called the sub scapular fossa and this sub scapular fossa will goes to touch towards the or uh, the ribs the spine of the face of, uh, of, uh, of the scapula from the two ribs uh, from it is a star to cover the two second ribs to seventh ribs from se second ribs to the seventh rib it is goes to uh, cover or attach attach with the scapula of the Uh, of the scapular bone of the anterior portion of the scapular bone so this is all about the uh, anatomical structures uh, of the 
scapular bone let's to revise uh, uh, summarize the uh, the scapular bone the common name of the scapular bone is the wing bone of the human body okay the uh, the anatomical name of this wing bone is called the uh, which is on the present on the back side of the our body it's called the scapula the scapula have the three borders the medial border the three borders okay the medial border and the lateral border and the superior border it has the three angles superior angle inferior angle and the lateral angle okay in the it has the two surface and the posterior surface posterior uh, portion uh, the two portion posterior portion and the inferior portion uh, the posterior surface are the inferior uh, posterior surface and the interior surface if the see in the interior surface only one is the fossa is here this is called the sub scapular fossa sub scapular fossa and this sub scapular fossa is face uh, attached with the ribs of the uh, thoracic cage now in the posterior side in the posterior side of the uh, scapula bone is a spinous process over here this spinous process is called the spine of the scapula this originate from the medial border and cross the body of the scapula and goes towards the lateral side and it the spinous uh, the spine of the scapula is a three portion the the first one this is, is at the medial border is a make the trigone is a tri, is a triangular of the spine and the in the middle of the spine is the make the ridge or crest and this called the trapezium crest and the from the posterior side as the deltoid to brusti is over here because the trapezium muscles and the deltoid bones are attached over here and from the when it is goes towards the lateral side it goes on the lateral side to make the curve like structures and these curve like structures is a flat uh, portion the flat type of portion this flat type of portion is called the acromion process and this acromion process have the this is a, an angle make the an angle is called the acromion angle on the middle uh, middle side of the acromion process is the articular facet over here this articular facet for the uh, uh, for the clavicular bone the clavicular bone the external uh, the the clavicular bone the end of the acromion end of the clavicular bone comes over here and attach over here and make the acromio clavicular joint on the uh, the uh, this is the the this is called the supra is uh, spinous fossa. This is called the infra spinous fossa, and this is sub scapular fossa. On the lateral side of the uh, lateral angle is a cavity is here. This is called the glenoid cavity, and this glenoid cavity make the glenoido uh, humeral joint because the humerus head of the humerus bone uh, is comes and attach over here and make the shoulder joint. And just above of the, uh, just uh, between the glenoid cavity and the spine of the uh, spine of the scapula is a notch is here. This is called the glenoido uh, spinous uh, notch, or you can say the uh, spinous notch. The, the second name is called the spinous notch is here. And just above of the glenoid cavity is again is a curved finger-like structure. This curved finger-like structure is called the crocoid crocoid process and this crocoid process is for the attachment of the tendon of the uh, biceps muscles and brachialis muscles and the between the uh, crocoid process and the glenoid cavity is again is a notch is here this is called the crocoido uh, glenoid notch or the, uh, the common name is called the crocoid notch just of the lateral border on the lateral border is another notch is here this is called the sub scapular notch of the uh, of the scapula so this is all uh, this is all about the scapular bone we learned today if you any sort of the uh, queries or any question you can uh, email me or you can uh, comments in the inbox on my youtube channel of the hph uh, hazara public health channels uh, okay i hope you learned a lot and enjoyed from the today's session thank you